Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. So in this video, we are going to look at one real-time scenario which has been requested by Chitransu. So as you can see here, he has provided an input data like ID and name which has got different values within it and he is expecting to see the output in this particular format. So if we look at this particular scenario, uh, we have got uh, two uh, or different IDs allocated to the different users and the required output needs to be transformed in a way that based on the IDs, all the names who are falling or who has the same ID should be aggregated and be separated by comma as a delimiter. Okay, so without any delay, let's get started. So as a first step, let me uh, try to uh, enable this Power Query Editor. So I will be going to this uh, transform data and uh, within my Power Query Editor. So this is the real data, right, which has been provided to us. Now, what is our requirement? Now we have to convert or combine all the names who have the same ID into one row. So the first step here that we are going to implement is group by. Yes, so here we are going to add this group by functionality from the home section. So there is a uh, default option which is provided by Power BI. So you just need to select this group by and that would allow us to apply the group by based on a specific column. So here, what are we trying to, uh, or based on which column do we need to group by? So based on my ID, I would like to concatenate or aggregate all my names falling in the same ID. So therefore, I would select the column name as ID based on which it should implement the group by functionality. And I'll give the column name as new name. Okay. And we would like to apply this operation across all the rows in that particular table. And then I'll hit on OK. Okay, so now when I do this uh, group by functionality, what it does is it would uh, combine or aggregate all the names who have the same ID. Now the next step is that uh, we would like to see those records in a separate column. So for that, we are going to create a new custom column or we would like to add a column based on the custom column functionality. And here uh, in this formula, Okay, let's name this as all names and in the custom formula we are going to use a function called table column table dot column and within this and within this uh, we are going to parse the metric or uh, the parameters as new name comma and the original column is the name so based on the column name we would like to insert this uh, grouped by output into the new column that we are going to create now. Okay, so I think. Table dot column this one. Okay, so I'll hit on OK. Now this uh, column has transformed that uh, data into a list. And now what we are trying to do is we would like to expand or uh, come uh, like separate those values by a delimiter. So here in this all names uh, custom column that has been created, we'll just uh, expand this, click on that option. And there we find this option called extract values. So we just need to select this extract values. And within this, we are going to apply the delimiter as comma. And then we hit on OK. And now if you observe, we have a uh, got the required transformation being applied on the input data. So this is how we are expecting to see in the output, right? Where based on my ID, we would like to combine all the names separated by a comma delimiter and have the data being displayed. So I hope this video is helpful to analyze and understand how simple it is to apply these transformation steps by using the given function or the capabilities inbuilt within power query editor so if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe and to please do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section thank you